Hello, Dr. Smith. Thank you for coming in with us today. Um, I'm glad, first and foremost, I'm glad that you chose me to be your chiropractor intern. Um, um, I am just happy to start this care with you. And uh, right now, we took, we took your x-rays earlier in the week when you came in earlier. And we consulted everything of what chiropractic is. Now that we got your x-rays, we're going to figure out what's going on in your body and how we're going to treat it. All right? So sounds good. So... Are you following me? Great, perfect. So over we'll here now, what we're looking at right now, we're going to start from the bottom to the top, okay? We're going to start, well first let me just explain that there are three curves, again, these curves are very, very important for um, nerve functions because these curves allow just that significant space of these nerves to flow through to these organs to make them work better, to make um feel like they're, at, they're working at their optimal level. And that's very important because when things are working at the most optimal level, that means that they're healthy, right? Okay, so, first I want to talk about the pelvis film. Right over here. So over here we got this field called an A to P film of your lower, lower lumbar. So now, if you come to get a look close here, your iliums are slightly misaligned. So your right side is slightly more elevated than your left. That could be numerous, numerous things that can happen. Uh, what can happen? What has happened is that you know throughout life, uh, you could have fallen more on the left side more than your right. Uh, you, there could have been many, 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 many things that could have happened. But it's important to have these aligned, especially your lumbar spine, because nerves will flow through them to go to these particular organs. For example, if there's a slight curvature right here, a little bit more lateral to the left side, pinching on these nerves going to your stomach or your endocrine system, or um, just, you know, your reproductive system. Um, the interference causing no communication between the brain will cause, to will inhibit that, I should say, for it to work at its most optimal level. Over, so the curvature on the lateral deviation needs we need to take care of that. How do we do that? With certain adjustments, with certain exercises for you to follow, it will definitely fix that. Okay. Now, when you look down here in your sacrum, everything else looks fine. Your bone structures look great. Everything bone, yeah, everything looks great. Just this little curvature that we'll take care of. Okay. And over here, you have your lateral side of the view. So your lateral side looks okay. A little bit of a uh, Hypermobile, hyper hyperlordosis, sorry, hyperlordotic curve, meaning that your lower back spine has curved so much. So now, with certain adjustments and postural muscle exercises to correct that, we will allow that to um, allow that to correct your posture of that particular particular segment and uh, allow the nerves to flow through. It's very important that we don't have, we don't want that much of a curvature. We do want a curvature, but not that much. That much would cause a pinching too, okay? Not only that, it will cause these facets to overwork and collapse without, within about a lot of amount of time. So what I'm saying is that we need to correct this in order to allow, allow these ligaments to be more lax, allow these ligaments to work more properly, and these ligaments work more properly and more relaxed, so allow these nerves to go through, gives more room in between the bones, just feel with fluid and more energy, okay? Does that make sense? Great. So now, I come up here to introduce this called your lateral thoracics here. Kyphosis looks great. There's a. Uh... Yeah, so this right here is your middle.